Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading Treasure Island. Make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss any future stories. A long time ago, a boy named Jim Hawkins lived and worked at an inn by the sea. The guests at the inn were often sailors passing through who told all kinds of wild stories. Jim had always longed to set sail and have his own adventure at sea. One day, an old man came to the inn. He said his name was Captain Billy Bones and that he needed a room for just one night. When he saw Jim, he gave the boy a few pennies to look out for a one-legged man. Late that night, Captain Bones called to Jim. When Jim came to his bedside, he pulled out a map. Do you know what this is, sonny boy? croaked the old captain. It's a treasure map. I've kept it secret for years, and now it's yours. Captain Bones thrust the map into Jim's hands and told him to leave. The next morning, Captain Billy Bones was gone. Jim had no way to follow the mysterious treasure map on his own. So he went to Squire uh, Trelawney for help. Trelawney brought Dr. L Livesey, and three of them decided to follow the map and find the treasure. Trelawney and Dr. Livesey. To help them get a crew, Trelawney hired a cook named Long John Silver, who had once been a sailor. I'll find ye the best crew that money can buy, promised Long John Silver. When Jim met Long John Silver, he was surprised to see that Long John Silver had a talking parrot and only one leg. Just like the man Captain Billy Bones had warned him to look out for, Jim decided to keep an eye on Long John Silver on their voyage. Before long, they were ready to set sail. Long John Silver had found a crew, and Trelawney had bought a boat and hired a captain. The boat was called the Hispaniola, and its new captain was Captain Smollett. Jim was finally off on his very own adventure. A few weeks into their voyage, Jim was below deck when he heard some of the crew talking. He decided to hide in a barrel and listen. Ah! once we reach the island, we'll take this boat from these landlubbers and steal the treasure for ourselves, cried a familiar voice. Jim realized that the voice belonged to Long John Silver and that the crew weren't sailors. They were pirates. The pirates all began to laugh and cheer at Long John Silver's plan. Jim waited a long time for the pirates to go away before he climbed out of the barrel and ran to find Captain Smollett, Trelawney, and Dr. Livesey. He told them all about what he had heard. Well, now we have the element of surprise, said Captain Smollett wisely. There are many of them and only four of us. We shall wait and see what they do. Before long, the island marked on the mysterious map was in sight. Land ho! cried Jim. Me and some mateys will take a boat to shore, said Long John Silver to the captain. Not wanting to make the pirates suspicious, Captain Smollett agreed as long as they took Jim with them. Jim and the pirates rowed a little boat to the island. They all clambered onto the beach and began to explore. As Jim wandered away from the pirates, he heard a strange song. He followed the sound and discovered a man sitting by himself. Oh, fishy fish fish, sang the strange man. Jim carefully approached the old man. Jim learned that the man was named Ben, and he had been alone on the island for years. 
Ben was happy to help Jim as long as it had been as it had been a long time since he had seen anyone. Ben led Jim through the jungle. Ben knew the whole island by heart. They began to hear a lot of shouting, so Ben showed Jim some rocks to hide behind. They found the old fort, whispered Ben. Trelawney, Captain Smollett, and Dr. Livesey were hiding in the fort. They had the treasure map and weren't letting the pirates have it. Pieces of eight, pieces of eight, caught a voice overhead. Jim looked up and saw Long John Silver's talking parrot flying out of the fort. He had the treasure map in his claws. When he landed, the pirates took the map and ran off into the forest, shouting and singing. Once they were sure the pirates were long gone, Jim and Ben snuck inside the fort. Trelawney, Dr. Livesey, and Captain Smollett were arguing about what to do now that the pirates were on their way to the treasure. Oh, you mean the trunk full of gold and glittering jewels, said Ben. Why, I moved that old thing years ago. Meanwhile, the pirates were following the treasure map they had stolen. Yo ho, it's a pirate's life for me, they sang as they reached the beach. X marks the spot. Start digging, mateys, cried Long John Silver. The pirates dug and they dug. Hours passed and still nothing. Where could that treasure be, wondered Long John Silver. Digging is hard work. I know they're mad. As the pirates dug on the beach, Ben led Jim and his friends deep into the heart of the island where the treasure was really hidden. They ran as quickly and as quietly as they could. They didn't want any pirates to follow behind. Finally, they reached a clearing where Ben pulled back some leaves to reveal the treasure chest. It was full to the brim with shiny gold coins. Ben agreed to split it with them if they took him back on their ship. As Jim and his friends carried the heavy treasure chest back to the ship, they heard yelling in the trees. Suddenly, the pirates appeared. They had spotted the treasure chest and were now running toward the beach, waving their swords in the air. When he saw the pirates, Jim rushed forward to protect his friends. In his hurry, he tripped over a rock and landed in front of the crowd of angry pirates. Jim is a good lad, cried Long John Silver, stepping in between the pirates and Jim. You shan't hurt him. The one-legged pirate had saved Jim. Together, they backed away from the pirates. For saving Jim, they let Long John Silver join them on the only boat back to Hispaniola, along with the treasure chest. Off they rode, leaving the pirates behind. Back aboard the ship, Captain Smollett, Trelawney, Dr. Livesey, Ben, Jim, and Long John Silver looked at their new treasure. There was enough gold in the chest to make them all rich for the rest of their days. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure once again that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.